Hi guys and ladies, I've been making a lot of fried fish lately, but what about baked? Well, I found a recipe that looks out of this world. It looks creamy and rich, and I've got all I need for this fish recipe, I, I, except one item, the fish. <laughs> so let's get out on the lake and pick some up. I'm gonna make my first cat right here off the dock. Yes, it's very, very small, but that's the size I need to remove from the lake. You see, under 12 inches, we're supposed to cull them, say the scientist who did a electroshock survey. <laughs> Perfect! The recipe, recipe fulfillment. I'll show you what I'm using today. It's a little spinner bait, a 1 8 ounce Strike King mini spin, I think it's called. I'll have all the info in the notes. Read the notes under the video. That's where all the info is. Okay, I'll keep them big enough. You know, I'm only a weekend fisherman, but I get a lot of questions on how to use one of these things called a bait casting reel, and how to adjust and how to prevent backlash. That's the biggest bugaboo. Well, there's knobs and magnetic controls, but my best control is my thumb, and all I do is feather the spool if I see the lure is headed for trouble. Like that, see? Got one. Yes, I know, small, but we're eating them. Whoa, he fell into the boat. I got him. Welcome aboard my pirate ship. The crew is eager to have you over for dinner. Got one right here! Right at the boat! Ah. ah, yes! And it's a nice chubby one. I almost feel guilty taking it. I'm out here in the middle of the lake by the Pads. I caught bass here before when the camera wasn't on. I don't know why, but they like the middle of the lake and they like these lily pads. I'm going to throw a worm at them this time. Plastic worm. Wow. It worked. All right. Got a good one. Oh, that's not a good one. Oh, I thought it was a lot bigger. Somebody has it. See it swimming? That's a nice one. That's a nice fish. Open up, I gotcha! I gotcha! All right! 
Now that completes the day. 16 and a half inches. All right, I'm gonna put them back. These are the kind we need to preserve in the lake. We want nothing but big fish in the future. Okay, looky here. We've got more than enough for dinner tomorrow. Let's get back in the house and fillet our bad boys and tomorrow we'll work on that recipe of creamy baked fish. Yesterday was a good day for puny bass. It was made more fun by that nice hog we caught at the end of the day. So I ended up with over a pound and a half of bass fillets. Well, here I've got about a pound and a quarter. The rest I froze. Look how nice they came out. Well, before we start on our creamy baked bass, let's try a new kind of side dish. I don't know if your supermarket has these, but these are marinated Kalamata olives from the salad bar. They're so good, so much better than those things you get in the can or the jar. Look what else I found in our supermarket for lazy people. Already sliced red onions. The recipe calls for cherry tomatoes, but I like these better. These are called compare. It says they're sinfully sweet. Be careful. I'll cut them into thirds. The recipe says a tablespoon of chopped fresh oregano. I've never used fresh oregano before. Well, we'll see. Oh, wow. This really smells good. I got a really big bowl here. When I don't know what's coming, it's always better to start with a big bowl. Okay, there's a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. Now two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. And there's the bell to round four. Our chopped oregano. Let's whisk this in. Here's almost a half teaspoon of salt and an unknown quantity of freshly ground pepper. Did you like it? Well, what we're doing here today is making a cucumber salad. And look, I've got this enormous English cucumber, probably too much. And what I'm going to do is use my favorite kitchen device, a spiralizer. You're supposed to cut this every two inches. I don't see how that's possible. I usually cut every 5,280 feet. Look what I'm left with, a toadstool. I'm not measuring these. Let's just cut them down to a reasonable size. This noodle is in violation of the two inch rule. Okay, now we're gonna add our cucumbers. Now our tomatoes, our onions, our sliced olives. Looky here, a whole container, four ounces of feta cheese, crumbly. Let's see if we could toss this this way. I'm gonna put our salad in the fridge and get going with our creamy baked bass recipe. I've got some fresh shrimp here, about a little less than half a pound. I peeled these and now I'm cutting them into like thirds. The recipe says you could use cooked shrimp, but gee, I'm not a fan of bland. And that means I need to use fresh raw shrimp. Now here's a cup of cream and here's a half cup of water. We've just made low carb milk. I've got four tablespoons of butter going here on medium low heat and here's some flour I'm putting in. I'm making a roux. Ah, ah, ah. This is not ordinary flour. This is low carb flour. It's only one twelfth the carbs. Let's see if it works. I think so. Let's gradually mix in our cream water mixture, our milk. Miraculously, my roux thickened up and I've added all the uh, phony milk. Now, a half teaspoon or so of salt Look how thick it is. 
I did not rue the day that I made rue. Here's three tablespoons of sherry wine. I got all these hints from the comments under the recipe. Ooh, oh, it smells good. This is a teaspoon and a half of crushed garlic, the stuff that comes in a jar. So much easier. Let's add that now. I think I'm done. I'm gonna put this aside and then start baking our fish. I got a big baking pan here. I'm just gonna spray it up and put our fish in it. I patted our fish a little bit to dry them and now look, I'm going to sprinkle our shrimp on top. Now I'm going to just sprinkle this with our seafood seasoning. I have Zatarain's Creole, but I guess you could use anything. I don't know. Now it's time to add our sauce. This looks good already. Now for the finishing touch. Pecorino Romano grated. Of course, you could use that stuff in the green container. Now we're ready for the oven. I got our oven on 350. Let's give these 17 minutes and see how they look. We could always go longer. While our fish is roasting away, I should tell you all, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, will be dining with me here tonight. I, I, I'm beyond honored. Although, I, I could use a reality check. You see, we've been seeing each other for millennia, yet she doesn't show much interest in marrying me. Maybe if I can at least get her to think about the prospects of marriage, maybe she'll see the light. I don't know. It's been 18 minutes. The kitchen is filled with the aroma of uh, garlic and cheese. Let's get out these petite piranhas. Oh, it looks so good. <sighs> the frog walls. Mm. I'll serve them up. Well, I'm honored to have with me today the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thanks a million for joining me here at my uh, humble hut in the woods. <laughs> and you had a chance to daintily dispatch my Mediterranean cucumber salad and my baked fish with shrimp. And I'm hoping that you could tell the viewers what you thought of the meal. They were both very good. The fish was in a delightful, well, you didn't even mention cheese sauce with the oh, shrimp. It and it was cheesy. very, very good. And I enjoyed every bit of that. And the salad was a nice, light, refreshing contrast to the very rich fish. Yes, it I, was rich. They were both very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like that cheese sauce. It was yeah. so, mm. so creamy. Yes. Miss Cheeks? Oh, that's right. I, I'm allowed to say Lulu now. Um, you know, I heard that your old aunts have been teasing you at weddings. Is it true they always ask, Well, Lulu, will you be next? Yes, but I started doing the same to them at funerals. Huh? Oh, can I have a hug? Oh.